Welcome back. This week we have a new segment coming your way with details about Spirit Week and Yearbook. Mr. Morrison is doing another fundraiser for prom, which is rolling up here pretty soon. And we are going to be getting information about the boys' tournament in Chaparral and the girls' tournament that happened earlier this week at home. I'm Reagan Williams, and KCAT News starts right now. This week and for the following weeks to come, Emily Barker is introducing a new segment called Wildcat Rundown, which is our opportunity to cover Wildcats here at MHS more in depth. This week, Emily is going to be talking about Homecoming Week with Anna Merchant and getting some intel about the yearbook with Alyssa Wilson. Welcome to the Wildcat Rundown. I'm Emily Barker and with me is Alyssa Wilson and she's going to give us a few details about the yearbook. So how is the yearbook going so far? Um, we're doing pretty good. We're about halfway through. Uh, we're on the winter section right now. We have our fall section pretty much almost all the way complete so we're doing pretty good this year. And then can you tell us a few things about the theme? I am not allowed to tell you what the theme is but our theme this year is a lot different than what we've done every other year. So I think anyone who buys the yearbook or even looks at it will be really surprised and really like it. All right, and then um, how much is the yearbook? Uh, right now it's $70, and in February the price will go up to 75 So just get the yearbook while you can because once the price goes up, more people will stop buying it. Thanks for joining me on the Wildcat Rundown. Make sure you buy our yearbook. And next we'll be talking to a representative from Student Council. I'm here with Anna Merchant and she's going to give us a few updates from Stuco. So the MVC points start off with the seniors in the lead with 170 points, freshmen with 125 points, juniors with 120 points, and sophomores with 110 points. So for Spirit Week next week, what are the days? Monday is pajama day, so pretty self-explanatory. Just come to school in your pajamas. Tuesday, since the homecoming game is on a Tuesday this year, our green and white day will be on Tuesday. Wednesday is jungle themed, so you can dress in animal print, dress as an animal, um, something you would wear in the jungle. Thursday is life, so throwback or something you would wear in the future, like a future occupation or something. And Friday is twin slash squad day, so match with your friends. Thank you for that. And then for the decorating for homecoming, could you tell us a few details? Yeah, you'll sign up with your class sponsor, and basically that day you'll get dismissed from class, and we'll spend most of the day decorating down in the gym and the hallways surrounding the concession stand area with our board game theme for homecoming and just get us in the spirit for homecoming and hopefully make the gym look really pretty. So thank you Anna for joining me and don't forget to show your spirit next week. See you next time on the Wildcat Rundown. Back to you Reagan. Thanks Emily. We hope you like our new segment. Mr. Morrison has had a couple of fundraisers for the juniors for prom this year and Bern Cole is going to be getting some details about the next fundraiser coming up soon. The junior class has another fundraiser for prom and Mr. Morrison is going to be giving us the details about what we can do to help raise money. we got a major announcement coming at you. We have a new prom fundraising campaign coming up. It's called Pie in the Face. So on Monday, February 5th to Wednesday, February 13th, you can purchase tickets and you can select which teacher you would throw a pie in their face. At the Black Light Assembly, the winner, the ticket winner will be able to throw a pie in the face of their favorite teacher. Stay tuned for when we announce which teachers will be participating. <laughs> this fundraiser seems like a lot of fun, so don't forget to sign up. Bryn Cole, KCAT News. Thanks, Bryn. Basketball midseason tournaments happened earlier this week and last week, and Gabe is filling us up with the scores on Gabe's Game Recap. Thanks, Reagan. Thursday, January 18th, the varsity wrestling team had a meet in Douglas. With meddling in first, Josh Bush, Nash Brill, and Hunter Scott, then Ethan McElravey and Yancey Coase placing second, and then Ethan Marshall in third. Gage Russell, Anna Yura, and Bryce Williams in fourth. The bowling teams were in action at West Acres Bowl in a tournament hosted by Northwest.
The boys placed third overall while the girls placed 11th. Then on Friday, January 19th, the boys basketball team played their second game of the Chaparral Roadrunner Classic. The Cats couldn't keep up with the Roadrunners as they fell 75-58. to Drew Ellis offensively led the Cats with 22 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists, with Jeb Herman having 11 points, 5 rebounds, and Gage Gerlach finished with 7 points, 1 rebound, and 1 assist. Saturday, January 20th, the Cats played their final game of the Roadrunner Classic, facing Conway Springs. The Cats overcame the Cardinals as they earned their third win of the season, 52-41. Jeb Herman led the way with 16 points and 6 rebounds. Then Drew Ellis dropped 13 points with 6 rebounds and 6 assists. Then Trey Avisogo had 9 points, 1 rebound, and 1 assist. Congratulations to Drew Ellis on his efforts making him named on the All-Tournament team. On Monday, January 22nd, the girls kicked off the Wildcat Classic hosting the Andale Indians. The Cats were unable to overcome the Indians as they fell 60-21. to Erica Landis led the way with 7 points and 1 assist. Carson White had 5 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 assist. Then Janae Hamilton finished with 3 points, 1 rebound, and 1 assist. And then on January 23rd, both varsity and JV bowling teams competed in the triangular. The varsity boys placed first overall, being led by Kale Titus, who bowled a 682 series, and then Garrett Moon, who bowled a 649 series. The junior varsity boys placed first, being led by Nathan May, who bowled a 488, and then Jason Mills, who bowled a 483 series. The girls' varsity placed first, being led by Addie Schiffelbein, who bowled a 616 series, and then Anna Moon, who bowled a 468 series. The JV girls placed first as well, being led by Taylor Ingram, who bowled a 344 series, and then Shira Herman, who bowled a 341. The girls' basketball team hosted the Ark City Bulldogs for their second game of the Wildcat Classic. The Cats were unable to keep up with the Bulldogs, falling 48-27. The Cats were led offensively by Carson White, who netted 8 points with 6 rebounds. Then Kira Parks had 6 points with 7 rebounds and 1 assist. And Grace Myers finished with 6 points and 1 rebound. The varsity wrestling team was in action as they had a triangular in Chaparral. The Cats were able to overcome the Roadrunners 58-18. Then they fell to Derby 40-36. to That's it for this week's edition of Gabe's Game Recap. Gabe Daniel, KCAT News. Thanks, Gabe. Stay tuned next week for getting to know the homecoming candidates on Tuesday, basketball games, and for some intel on the Wildcat Runtown. Have a good weekend, and as always, thanks for watching KCAT. And she's going to give us a few... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You can talk. Oh. You know the drill. Do the drill. Am I looking wait, over? Wait, 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 I moved. I moved. The cats were unable to overcome... <laughs> Anyways... Do you want me to do 3, 2, 1, or 1, 2, 3? I can just 3, 2, 1. Just keep your head. Thanks, Bryn. Mid-season. Hey there, Wildcat Nation. Mr. Morrison coming at you live from room 302. I want to give you a... <laughs> Do you not laugh? <laughs> Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. Thanks for watching, KCAT.